participated in the Driven Project four years ago and immediately knew that we wanted to be a part of this going forward. We share with them the passion of what they're doing for these kids. Thank you very much. It's a great, great honor to be partners with you on this. The Driven Project provides supercar therapy in the U.S. and in Canada. It's an adrenaline thrill ride that they get to take. Today they get to go up the Las Vegas Strip. Thank you all for coming. Let's make a great day for all these kids. Thank you. He's three and a half years old, born and raised in what we now call the Wind City. Also obsessed with baking cupcakes, and she and they say she loves to eat, to eat the he loves to eat the frosting off. She might turn into a strawberry gogurt because she eats boxes of those. Her best friend is her brother, but don't ask her brother's name. It's just brother, okay? He doesn't actually have a name. Bela was diagnosed with Wilms tumor in January. Currently going through 33 weeks of chemo. And you'll notice that the family are all wearing shirts that say, Brave Like Baylor. Big round of applause for Baylor. Once again, a big round of applause. All right, our very first VIP rolls across the stage. Rolling up behind it. Driving the car, she's 17 years old, she's from Las Vegas. According to her family, Angie enjoys crocheting, reading, and doing nail art. She loves animals. She has a dog, a bearded dragon, fish, and some aquatic snails. Angie has started taking some college classes. When she graduates, her goal is to become a nurse. Let's give a big round of applause for Angie Pat. There we go. Sound of the Huracan Evo. All right, give them a big round of applause as they drive off. Next car rolling up onto the block is a McLaren. Cassie is 14 years old. She was born and raised in Las Vegas. She has EDS, POTS, mast cell activation syndrome, and gastroparesis. Now, we got some, some fun facts about Cassie. Despite those health issues, she is a dancer. And this summer, she was able to take her first college class through CSN. Cassie wants to work in the medical field, and not surprisingly, she already knows a lot more than some of her doctors about certain issues. So give a big round of applause for Cassie Patton. All right, let's hear how the McLaren sounds when you rev it up. All right, away we go. Next car rolling up a bit. And our very important passenger in this Lamborghini, his name is Luke. And he's 14 years old. Let's give a big round of applause for Luke. We were talking with Luke earlier. He says he loves cars. He especially loves monster trucks. He likes basketball. He likes swimming. And he likes prototype, which is the camp these kids go to. So let's give, let's give a big round of applause for Luke. Thanks for Caden. Rev up the Lamborghini. We love to hear it. And away we go. We got a host of the Lamborghinis up here today. The next Lamborghini is a Huracan STO. This one being driven by Christian. All right, who likes purple? There you go. The perfect color for a Lamborghini. Our passenger, our VIP for the day, is Jairus Wright, a super energetic, lovable eight-year-old boy with a diagnosis of lysencephaly, which is described as smooth brain, is Lennox Gasto syndrome and cerebral palsy, but don't be fooled, it does not keep him down. Family says that he loves just to be a boy. All the things that kids do, in fact, they say he rode the mechanical bull at Pumpkin Days. 
swimming, being outside of his bike. He also has a love for police officers and emergency personnel. Big round of applause for Jarris Wright. Back in we go. And once again, we call this supercar therapy, the chance to ride in a car and have some fun for the day. Thanks a lot to Christian for driving. All right, can you rev it up, Christian? There we go. And away they go. Next up, another Lamborghini Huracan, but this is the Performante edition. It's being driven by Austin Ha and our very important passenger, our co-pilot for the day, is Caden Malone. Caden is a loving, energetic nine-year-old with a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder, FAS, and developmental delays. Caden loves all sports cars. Caden loves monster trucks, bowling, and his goat, whose name is Gerald. His family says Caden will go above and beyond to help somebody. Let's give a big round of applause for Caden. And a big round of applause for Austin. Rev it up, Austin. I think they're getting louder and louder. All right, it's Ferrari time. Roll up on the block. We got a Ferrari F8 Spider being driven by Gigi Papasabas. And our very important passenger, who you can't see because the, the door is blocking him completely, but Gigi will go around so we can see, is Zaya. All right, up pops Zaya, seven years old, full of life. His family says that he is the comedian in the family. He's got something called PVL, which is a mass and matter on the brain. He also has a disorder that, oh, yeah. This is Bronx. Oh. There we go. We move kids around. Let's go talk about Bronx then, shall we? <laughs> All right. This is Bronx. Bronx is five years old, born and raised in Las Vegas. He loves planets, fast cars, strawberries, and he's happy to be with his sister Baylor, who was in the very first car going across. There we go, Bronx. Now we've got the right name and the right facts on the car. But is it Gigi who's the driver? All right, so we at least have the right drivers then. All right, back in Bronx goes. Gigi will take him out of the strip. Gigi, we make everybody rev up the car. Nice smooth sounding, away we go, Gigi and Bronx. All right, our next car is a Corvette C8. The driver's Peyton Barber, and this is Zion. Zai is seven years old, as I mentioned, full of life. The family says he is the comedian in the family. He has a variety of issues. One of them is that his body doesn't like to digest proteins. But Zai loves to solve puzzles. He enjoys robotics. He loves to play and collect all different types of matchbox cars and monster trucks, along with his new fascination, WWE wrestling. Zion is super sweet and is all about spending time with his family. Alright, big round of applause for Zion, our very important passenger. All right, from here, 
our supercar therapy. We'll take them out onto the Las Vegas Strip where they can enjoy the sights and enjoy driving around in a great car. All right, we love to hear it rev up, so rev away. And off they go. All right, those are our low slow supercars, but you know, there are other kinds of supercars. How about some SUVs pulling up on the block? I believe we've got a Lamborghini SUV to roll it up. Inside, we've got two special guests, Rin and Amelia. They're going across, they can wave at everybody. they go and one more car we've got Owen in our the last one rolling up onto the block with the driven project colors on it yeah that's cool Owen's waving at everybody Once again, the Driven Project is something very important to the Jackson family. It's been a part of Barrett Jackson for quite some time. Just one of the many great projects that this organization does to help people in all areas. So let's give a big round of applause to all of our very important passengers that have been rolling across the block today. Right. Well, it's going to make an appearance outside. <laughs> I like how he's like, come on, you can take a picture with me, it's okay. <laughs> you know, it's a shame that Owen is so shy. All right. <laughs> All right, off we go, Owen. Come on, back in the car. We got places to go, things to see. And I have to say, everybody at Barrett Jackson appreciates everybody who has made this possible today. The drivers, the organizers, the kids who are making a very special day for these brave children. Big round of applause for all the kids who have rolled across the block. And away we go, Driven Project, onto the Las Vegas Strip, a part of the Barrett Jackson Las Vegas Collector Car Auction, the greatest collector car auction in the world. Just a reminder, the automobilia auction starts.